Hi guys, this is tutorial two. I hope to teach you how to print preview and print your the drawing that you've done. So um, this is obviously open up QCAD to start with. And there she goes. There it is, no document there. If you can go over to file. And we can open if we want, if you want to find the location of the file, or we'll look at open recent, and there's George Diaba, that's the bench top we drew. So there she is. I use the scroll button just to make that a little bit smaller, I don't know, that's just the way I work. You probably didn't don't need to do this for printing purposes. But now we go over again to file and down to print preview. Now when you click that it opens up a new toolbar there at the top on the second line. We'll run through some of those and close the print preview, print to a printer, export to PDF, that's the scale. Um, it should be set at 1 when you start. I think point 0.1 was what I ended up with last time. So that's why it held that. Um, move the paper position. You can read this. Uh, the next one, Auto Center, we'll be using that one definitely. Uh, portrait and Landscape. Single page. You can print on more than one page, which is the next one to the right. So if you had a very intricate drawing, you could um, print on several pages and glue them all together. Um, now we've got the different modes you can print in. Print all lines as hairlines. The next one is kind of handy. Show paper borders. Uh, print crop marks used if you print multiple pages. But otherwise, not. don't bother with that one. And the last one is drawing preferences. So to begin with, we will make sure that it's set to what we want, which is landscape for this particular bench top. Although uh, you could do it the other way, portrait. And now we've clicked on one page. Now mine's automatically shown the uh, border, <coughs> the printing area. So now this is where you click to auto fit the drawing to the page. And there it is. And I think that's a little bit too large. So I'll make the scale a little bit smaller so that I'll just let, delete that point 0.28. I'll point the 28 on the end there. And now it's point 0.1. And now it is smaller. You can't see the whole page. So it's made it small enough, and if we recenter or we center the drawing, there it is there. <clears throat> so that's pretty much how we want to print it out. We can export it to a PDF, which is the way I'll do it today, or you could print to uh, one of your printers at work. So we'll click on it. We're going to save it first, so we save that print setting. That'll be saved with the drawing. Um, and should click PDF now, which we do. Um, that's the wrong spot for a PDF. I'm not sure why I put it there, but uh, we'll probably put it somewhere else here, I think. Uh, down to my documents there. Adobe PDF. Uh, QCAD. And there it is there. You could type in the name of the particular file you want to call it. And it's overriding it. And that PDF is made. Uh, there's a bit of a jump in the video here. Uh, but this is the example of what we've made. I'll maximize that. And there's our PDF. And that's how simple it is. Um, good luck.